Right, so the moment of truth. Can I defeat the gym? Can I, can I, can I? Oh, you know, let's just hope so. You could easily, easily get around these guys, but you know, stop being such a pussy. Honestly, you've got to get in there, guys. You have to go defeat them, get the experience, level up. Yeah, and by the way, I meant cats again. I've really got to stop saying that word, damn it. Right, yeah, so anyway, the first battle he has one Pokemon and looks like he's in some kind of wetsuit. Is that a girl? That's a girl. Oh my god. Right, yeah. So she sends out a Spearow, which is basically PG, but really mean. Really, really mean. Right, so this Spearow can be quite tough if you haven't got the right Pokemon. For some reason, I'm using the Pidgey. I don't know why. Maybe I just want to train it up and level it up to Pidgeotto because Pidgeotto is badass. Badass. Yeah, he is. So, they are getting a lot of experience, hopefully you get, well, no, not level 15, but nearly. Player defeated, easily, that was a piece of cake. There you go, that was the first one defeated. And I'm only level 15, is it 14? No, God. So, yeah, you can, all, you can also defeat him. So, you know what, forget about Pidgey. I think it's time to train up my Tendal. I haven't been training up recently, so it's time. Right, let's get on with it. This is the second gym, uh, gym person who's, let's just call it, let's call them gym bodyguards because I don't know why they guard them. But anyway, he has two Pokemon and it looks, oh, a Pidgey. Pidgey versus Chomper. Let's get going. Right, yeah, really should be leveling up the Totodile because, um, yeah, I haven't been really teasing him well, have I? I've only been doing Pidgey, so I think it's time to do some, oh, you beast is. Yeah, you better watch out for that sun attack. Sand attack, attack can be very mean sometimes, and I mean really, really feisty. You know, you know what I mean. The old Arr! hell yeah, yeah. So anyway, level thirteen. Chomper is level thirteen. Uh, yeah, Chomper is very good uh, against these uh, bird Pokemon. Okay, uh, Cyndaquil will literally fly past it. Okay, Cyndaquil will just is beast among these guys. So yeah, you, you'd do fine if you had Cyndaquil. Um, Totodile, yes, you can, it's okay. He's not bad, he is not bad at all. But uh, the obvious fact is that it's it's all right, it's okay. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, as you can see, I switched out because it got a little tough and I thought, oh, I might as well save him for the Pidgeotto battle. Oh shit, spoilers. Oh crap, I swear. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh my god. I'm not doing very good, am I? Right, yeah. Um, Pidgey vs Pidgey. Pidgey will be pretty tough uh, if you have one. But I do recommend probably uh, stick to your starter Pokemon for these. Because you, you would easily fly past them. Unless you've got Chikorita. It probably is a little bit easier than the others. But. Your start Pokemon might may be stronger, so yeah, that's that's a that's on the good side. So let's get ready. It's time to defeat the gym leader. We've defeated the bodyguards. We got experience. We got a Pokemon leveled up. Now it's time for the gym. Oh, some beautiful battles up there. And the music and everything. Nice spirit. Oh God, he's he's ready for his ears. He is ready for his. Right, so he said that PG level nine. Hopefully, if I use water gun a few times, that will weaken him quite a bit. Right, so yes, halfway. So we're doing good, we're doing good. This is actually pretty hard if you don't have the Pokemon that you need. Or you don't have the necessary level of Pokemon. But, on the other hand, it could be quite easy if you have Cyndaquil. Basically, Cyndaquil is amazing against the first few gyms. And definitely the second gym. Definitely, completely amazing. And that's when you're going to need it. Second gym is a beast, trust me. Right, so I know I will not defeat him with a Pidgey. I know this for a fact. So, you're going to have to keep switching and switching and switching, using potions and everything. Because this is really hard and you have to time your attacks. 
time your attacks. Sometimes you can get lucky, sometimes you can get really unlucky like I am. So yeah, be careful. And that weakens him a bit, a little bit. So I've got to think of some more strategies. I use quick attack because it does it, but every time you use quick attack, it hits him before the um, before his attack. And the most annoying thing about this gym battle is that he has Roost. Roost restores his um, HP, which can be really annoying as you don't have Roost and you, oh, your health can go down by a lot. So yeah, the best way to get him is in the um, is in the red zone, not in the uh, orange, because he will he will use Roost. As soon as he's in orange, he will use Roost. I guarantee. Any money, he'll use Roost. And there, I told you, if you get him in the orange zone, he'll use Roost and it'll probably fill his bar. Yeah, there we go. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be very tough. So, what you're gonna have to do is try your hardest and try and, if it's not too much to ask, try and get him into the red zone. Or full on green, just like me here, and then get him into the red zone. Oh, I'm nearly dead. It's going to be a bit too much for Fiji, and yes, nearly in the red zone. So that means if he uses Roost, that will only restore his uh, HP a little bit, not as much as it does. Right. So if I get Totodile out, um, no, 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 that won't work. So he will use Roost now. I bet. No, no. Oh, I should have had Quick Attack. Damn. Where's Quick Attack? Any Quick Attack? Oh no. Right. So as usual, we're going to hopefully it will get him. Come on. Come on, yes, here. I was very lucky, but mostly, most times, uh, in certain cases, you'll be very unlucky and he'll use Roost right then. And then, yeah, it'll be pretty tough, really tough. So yeah, that's it. The gym leader is defeated, beautiful, hell yes. About time I defeated him, really. He's a good lad. 1,560, hell yeah. As you can see, the gym looks beautiful, it really does. He's saying, oh god, I shouldn't have been defeated. But it's by law, I've got to give you this badge. And he also gives you a TM, which I'll tell you what that is in a minute. Uh, yeah, the gym looks fine, the gym looks beautiful. And when you walked up, um, that big elevator thing, it, the graphics were beautiful, they really were really good. And I was just telling you that you can use Rock Splash that old uh, fat guy gave you. And basically, he's giving you Roost, which I am definitely going to teach my Pidgey, because that looks and felt really good when he did that. So yeah, that'd be, that'd be really good if I could learn that. So yeah, let's quickly turn, you know, roost it. Let's roost it, boy. Right, so basically this is the menu. The bag has different components, compartment, like Pokeball slots, item slots, and key items. That's like the big bag. And this is basically the screen of um, when, you know, when he goes, he's learning, he's learning, poof. There's my beautiful Pidgey. But he's fainted. Oh. So yeah, basically it's in that poof thing now for some reason. And yeah, the menu screen looks really good. Extremely good. And the bag looks pretty beautiful. Beautiful, whatever that means. So yeah, it's time to go down and watch this cool animation elevator thing. Whoa! Whoa! Sweet! Right, I'm back outside again. And it's time. Oh no, the phone's ringing. Professor Emma. Hello, Joey. We've discovered something. Oh my god. We can't say, but I want you to carry. That egg! Oh my god! Who wants us to have an egg? Sweet! I wonder what that egg will turn into. Find out next time on Pokemon Soul Silver. No, okay, it's not over yet. Right, so we go to the Pokemon Center, walk out, and go in the Pokemon. This, this is the only way you can, um, you know, continue with the story by getting this egg. Uh, there is two things you can do here. Get this guy, and he says that basically his mom sent him to find me around the world to give me a potion. So yeah, that's pre pretty weird and uh, he must be getting paid a lot. This is where I thought, okay, what's happening? Wait, 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 he's not there. What? Oh, 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 scientist. Ah, I get it. Right, so when I seen the scientist, I was like, oh, there you go. So basically, he's saying you want to take care of his egg. And he said, uh, Professor Elm says, there's no one perfect enough as me. So I'm like, hell yes. Okay, here we go. Okay. I can't think of anyone more suited than Joey! That is so true. I mean, like, I'm one of the people who don't rate Pokemon. I mean, that's just sick. Honestly. It is just disgusting. 
Right, so out I go um, with my new beautiful egg. And as soon as we get out, there's a Japanese woman. Oh, bloody Japanese women. Always in their skirts and talking about stuff. So basically, she's just seen stuff about the egg, which I, I really didn't pay attention to because I just wanted to carry on. But yeah, she's just saying that it's it's cool. Nice, nice egg. You've got to take care of it. And that was Pokemon Soul Silver, episode 6, I think. 6 or 7, I don't know. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And a comment for the next episode. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And yeah, hope you have fun.